Hi, my name's Marie. I'm the Deputy Manager of the Small Animal Department at Wood Green Animal Shelters in Cambridgeshire and I'm going to advise you how to care for hamsters. I'm going to tell you how to set up a hamster cage. First of all, you need to choose a suitable hamster cage for the species of hamster you're going for. Syrian hamsters may need a really large hamster cage with mesh on the top. Ideally aim for a small rat cage with small bars. They are very energetic and they need lots of space to move around in. A really great example for a Russian hamster is a large glass tank at around three feet in length. You've got three different glass levels here so you can put different substrates on them. A really cool way of setting up a hamster cage is adding lots of fun enrichment. Things that are all around your house, children's toys are brilliant for hamsters. They offer all sorts of hidey areas and things for them to climb on. We've also got all sorts of tunnels in here and you can ver use various house objects. Things like toilet rolls, again as I mentioned children's toys, even small CD racks are brilliant for them to climb on and adventure. A really great example here is a globe and this has had holes cut inside of it. You can place bedding in here, the hamsters can climb up and sleep and snuggle in there and turn that into their nest and that will look really cool inside this house. What you'll also need to do is make sure you choose the right suitable bedding. So you want to use chopped shredded paper on the base or Carefresh. These are the best two products that are safe against any skin issues and allergies. Don't use wood shavings. What you could do to make it really fun and interesting for them is add different variations on the levels. Here we've got chinchilla sand on this level and you could also use organic soil on one side for them to dig around in. Hamsters love rummaging around in that and you could scatter the food in there to make it interesting. You can also get all sorts of cool toys made from willow treats. You can get all sorts of nests as well. These are brilliant for hamsters to be able to sleep in and they can chew them as well. There's many natural treats and toys on the market, so really fill up the enrichment and make it really fun and cool for them. In the wild, hamsters would be very active and they'd travel under tunnels, they'd be climbing on all sorts of things, so try and bear this in mind when you're setting up the enrichment and make it fun and interesting for them to be able to mimic what they would naturally do in the wild. And that's how to set up a really cool hamster cage.